So, okay, so I will be showing you how I made these uh, platforms. We'll start with this one on the right. I'm gonna isolate this one and then go into edit mode so that you can see how it looks. Now, how did I make this? So let's go to top view, get a cube, scale it on the Y axis. Now I'm going to isolate it again. So it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. Edit mode. Come on, edit mode, control R, loop cut, move it up somewhere over here. Another loop cut and then move it just slightly under that one. Then go into face select mode and then select the faces here. These ones here. And then I'm going to scale them out just have Proportional editing on, just turn it off, like just a little bit like this. But you'll see that, that I'm that something's weird here. See, these sides are bigger than the other one. Now, there's a reason for that, that's because I have to apply the scale. So, get out, apply the scale, and now if I scale, it scales evenly on all sides. Now, maybe it just a little bit more, okay. That looks good. Then I go into edge select and then select this edge. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. Then on the top, I'm going to select them all as well. And these ones here. And then I'm going to do Control B and then give them a little bevel. So if you go like this, just Control C and then it clamps so it won't go more than it is possible. Now here you could go and give it more, but then you're going to give a lot of geometry. So one, max two, uh, but usually I just leave it at one. And then you can do get out shade smooth and then auto smooth and then it looks pretty good and then you can uv unwrap it and then select the top faces and you make it one color and then the side faces you make another color only the only thing is this is not super handy when you are trying to block out because you actually have a lot of geometry and then if you want to, uh, let's say, move it, then you need to select like all these and then it's it's not super handy. So, but yeah, if you want to make a square a kind of a platform, this is, a, this is a good way. It looks pretty nice. So this is solid view. So I'm going to deselect it and just move it to the side. Now, this one is the one I use most and it's quite handy. And from this one, I uh, will be making uh, these uh, four different ones. So let me show you what this is. So if I go into edit mode, you see that I have this ugly ass uh, blocks. But the key is here that I'm using a subdivision surf modifier to create this nice uh, smooth uh, platform but in edit mode I have the least amount of vertices uh, possible to make this happen so it's very easy to yeah to to modify it and make something else so let me go to top view move the cursor to somewhere else I'm gonna actually gonna put it here here Shift A, get a cube, okay, I'm going to isolate the block, scale, Y axis, and I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to subdivide it once, and then I'm going to do add a loop cut here, and another loop cut here, um, escape, yeah, so that should be good. 
And now if I add a subdivision surf, you'll see that it looks, yeah, doesn't look like a thing like the platform we were using. So what do you have to do? You have to do face mode and then select the bottom faces here, hit X, delete them. So it makes uh, this uh, bottom straight. And now you also want to make the top straight. Now what do you do? You go to edge select, select all the edges here on the top. Oh, I did something wrong. This one, these here, shift E, one on the keypad, enter, and now we have that platform. Now let's say it's smooth, auto smooth. Now that looks already pretty good. And now we can manipulate this. Now let's go to face select. I usually turn on the, this thing, I forgot the name. Proportional editing, there, there it is. So if I pull, you can see that it goes on. I can use this to help. So I usually don't want to go too high because I don't want to have the other edge come with me if I do like this. Maybe it is what you want, but let's let's do that. So let's do these here. Pull them back uh, like so. And then I want to make a little ramp. So I'm just going to select these two and then just pull up. Boom, there we have it. And here as well, just like so. Proportional editing off like this. And actually, I'm going to do choose select, go into edge. And I'm going to turn this off for a second to show you something. So I'm going to go down like so. Now, if I turn it on, I'm going to go to this. You see, you have this ridge. You could fix that by giving it more subdivisions, but then your mesh is going to have a lot of uh, geometry, you don't want that. So let's try to fix that uh, without uh, yeah, without having more subdivisions. So, like so, you select everything here, pull all back, like so, add a loop cut here, move it forward, two, bit down and these two a little bit up and maybe a bit back and I think if we go to solid view now it's still not good enough so let's face select this here and then it should be good enough no, still not There we are, a little bit better. For some reason you still see it pretty bad, but so gone. Okay, so but from this one, so if I do fish a cube and then go to edit mode and then just subdivide it like so. Scale shorter and then give it a subdivision surf. Go to two and go to face select and select all the bottom faces. X faces, and then go to edge select and select these edges. Come on. Shift E, one, enter. And now we could see this here and then make a platform. You can manipulate them or whatever you want to create something. Okay. Let's shape. Okay. Let's shape smooth. So if we have some weird uh, creases. So we have one here. It's pretty bad. So we could add a loop cut 
and then This one out, it should start to disappear. It's not, so let's go one up, and there you are. And then you can also just select these here and create a little combination, like so. And then you have another platform. Shape the shift D. Rotate. Rotate one. See? Then you already have some nice flowing uh, platforms. Now, for the other ones, let me take, put this all to the side. So on this one, uh, we are using only one uh, modifier, the subdivision surf. Now, this one here is actually also pretty nice to uh, block out. Because actually, if you look go look into it, and I'm gonna, yeah, you can see there's a bunch of modifiers. If I turn them all off, yeah, sure. Let's, yeah, should be. You see that they're only made of uh, planes, yeah. So, how does this work? So, and then you have this here. So this has a little bit more work because it has a bunch of modifiers that we are applying to the, to the planes to create uh, this. So when the first one is a bevel modifier, then we have a subdivision surf, then we have the solidify, then we have a bevel again, and then we have two different uh, displacements, the remesh, and then the decimate so that we have uh, yeah, less vertices um, and yeah, triangulation. The only issue with this one is, is that if I, I'm going to show you, this here you don't even see it. So if I turn them on all again, there we are. So by remeshing this one kind of disappears. So if I move it, like, whoop, there we go. Now it's uh, here again. So this is actually not a good idea to have like this. It's just easier to select this one, X, delete. Now this one is actually acting weird. There we go. Now let's create a face. Shift A, plane, come here. And then I'm going to shift select this one, control L, add all the modifiers and I'm going to on control L because I have some material on it and then we have this yeah and the easy thing about this one is it's only a plane so if I go into edge select and I make it bigger like so yeah it uh, automatically now the only thing that gets weird is that so long this is uh, flat it's no problem, but if you then slant it, it starts to yeah, not be straight anymore. So if you want your character to walk or run here, um, especially if you are using uh, Sonic, um, yeah, it will bounce all over because it's not, not that great. So for that, this other one is better because it's nice and smooth. Um, so let's face select, subdivide, then we can actually let's select this edge, this one, just this edge, and then pull this one out by something like this. Yeah, and then just move up. 
Now, if you want to make it uh, taller, uh, you go into the solidify modifier. Now it's uh, two meters, and it just uh, ramp up the height. Yeah, and then it's a higher rock. Yeah. So I'm gonna stop this video here. And I'm going to then continue with the other platforms on the next video.